i Lua programming language. Now, the first question people ask when they start to get into fusion expressions is what is the actual fusion expression language? And the answer is that it is Lua, although it offers a simplified syntax for ease and speed, as we shall see. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be actually looking at creating this clock using expressions written with Lua. So let's make a start on this. So first of all, let's talk about the differences between the simplified version of Lua that we are accustomed to in fusion expressions and the more extended version that we're going to be using for this project. So I'm going to remove this expression on this angle here. So this is the merge that's driving the second hand. And instead, I'm just going to use a simple fusion expression. So I'm going to do a conditional just for fun. So I'm going to type if, so that's double if, open brackets, time is less than 50, comma, time, comma, 100, minus time, close brackets. So now if you run that, you'll see it runs backwards for 50 frames and forwards indefinitely. So that conditional is saying if time is less than 50, then use time to drive the rotation, which obviously drives it backwards. And then I'm just using this to make it go forwards again. So we've got a condition and then an expression for if the condition is met and then an expression for if the condition is not met. So let's actually like look at doing this in Lua proper. So let's remove this expression and let's add a new one. So what we're going to do here is we're going to type a colon and this tells Fusion that we're actually going to write proper Lua code. So in this case, we're going to do if time is less than 50, then return time, else return 100 minus time, semicolon end. So now if we run it, you'll see that exactly the same thing happens. It runs backwards and it runs forwards. So really, we've just got a long form wordy version of that simple fusion expression. So anyway, we're not going to be using a conditional. Let's remove this expression and let's add a new expression. So we're going to do be something a little bit more complicated here. What we're going to do is set up a while loop. So that looks as follows. Again, we're going to enter a colon. And first of all, we're going to set up an index. So i equals 1, semicolon. Then we're going to enter a rotation variable. So r equals 0, semicolon. And then we're going to set up our loop. So we're going to type while i, which is our index, is less than or equal to, less than or equal to time divided by 24, do r equals r plus 6, semicolon. And then we need to increment our index, i equals i plus one, semicolon. Then we need to terminate our loop, so end, semicolon. And then we need to return our rotation value, so return negative r, and then semicolon to finish. So now if we run this from the beginning, we're getting a nice ticking hand like this. So that's great, and we can just copy this expression and come to our merge for the minute hand. Let's just remove that to paste this in. And the only thing we need to change here is this value here. We're at 24 frames a second and 24 times 60 is 1440. So now as we go through the minute, you'll see the minute clicks over like that every single time all very neat and tidy. So there you go. That's a first step in looking at Lua. There are plenty of excellent online resources where you can learn all about it. And I'll put a link to a couple of those in the description. You'll discover that there's a heap load of really interesting stuff you can do once you start getting into it. And it's a load of fun as well. So thanks very much indeed for watching. I'll see you again soon.